What is TypeScript and how does it differ from JavaScript? TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript that adds optional static typing, class-based object-oriented programming, and other features to JavaScript. TypeScript is compiled to JavaScript and can run on any browser or platform that supports JavaScript. The key difference between TypeScript and JavaScript is that TypeScript is a typed language, whereas JavaScript is untyped. What are the benefits of using TypeScript? The benefits of using TypeScript include improved code maintainability and reliability, easier debugging, better code navigation and tooling, and increased productivity. TypeScript also helps catch potential bugs and errors at compile time and provides better documentation and code organization. How do you declare variables and types in TypeScript? In TypeScript, you can declare variables using the let and const keywords. You can specify the variable type using a colon and the type name after the variable name. For example, let my var string equals hello world. What is the difference between interfaces and types in TypeScript? Interfaces and types are similar in TypeScript, but interfaces are more commonly used for object types, whereas types are more commonly used for union and intersection types. Interfaces can also extend other interfaces and classes, whereas types can only extend primitive types and other types. How does TypeScript handle inheritance and polymorphism? In TypeScript, inheritance is achieved using the extends keyword, and polymorphism is achieved using interfaces and classes. You can use inheritance to create a parent-child relationship between classes, and you can use polymorphism to create abstract classes and interfaces that define the structure and behavior of objects. How do you declare classes and interfaces in TypeScript? In TypeScript, you can declare classes using the class keyword and interfaces using the interface keyword. Classes define the structure and behavior of objects, and interfaces define the structure of objects without providing an implementation. What are namespaces and modules in TypeScript? Namespaces and modules are used in TypeScript to organize code and prevent naming conflicts. Namespaces are used to group related code into a single namespace, whereas modules are used to encapsulate and reuse code across multiple files and projects. How do you import and export modules in TypeScript? You can import and export modules in TypeScript using the import and export keywords. You can import modules using the import keyword, followed by the module name and any necessary options. You can export modules using the export keyword, followed by the exported object or function. What is the syntax for declaring functions in TypeScript? Functions can be declared using the function keyword, followed by the function name, parameters in parentheses, and a return type. For example, function function name, param1, type, param2, type return type, forward slash forward slash function body. How does TypeScript handle function overloading? Function overloading in TypeScript allows a function to have multiple signatures with different parameters and return types. TypeScript determines which signature to use based on the number and types of arguments passed to the function. How do you use generics in TypeScript? Generics in TypeScript allow for the creation of reusable functions, classes, and interfaces that can work with a variety of data types. Generics are declared using angle brackets with the data type specified inside. For example, function function name tvprim tt forward slash forward slash function body. What is the difference between abstract classes and interfaces in TypeScript? An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated and is meant to be subclassed. It may have abstract methods that are declared but not implemented. An interface is a set of method and property signatures that can be implemented by a class. Unlike abstract classes, interfaces cannot contain implementation details. 
How does TypeScript handle null and undefined values? TypeScript has a strict null check feature that can prevent null and undefined values from being assigned to variables or passed as function arguments. Additionally, null and undefined can be assigned as types to variables or function parameters to ensure that they only accept those values. What is the difference between a type assertion and type casting in TypeScript? Type assertions are a way to tell the compiler that a value has a specific type, even if it doesn't. Type casting, on the other hand, is a runtime operation that changes the type of a value. Type assertions are used for compile time type checking, while type casting is used for runtime type conversion. How do you use decorators in TypeScript? Decorators in TypeScript are a way to modify or extend the behavior of classes, methods, or properties. They are declared using the at symbol followed by the decorator name, before the class, method, or property. For example at decorator name class class name. What are the different types of decorators in TypeScript? There are four types of decorators in TypeScript, class decorators, method decorators, property decorators, and parameter decorators. Class decorators are applied to the class itself, method decorators to class methods, property decorators to class properties, and parameter decorators to function parameters. How do you use the this keyword in TypeScript? The this keyword in TypeScript refers to the current object or context in which the code is running. It can be used in functions, classes, or interfaces to refer to the current instance of the object or the object being created. How does TypeScript handle async await and promises? TypeScript has built-in support for async await and promises. You can use the async await syntax to write asynchronous code that looks like synchronous code, and TypeScript will handle the underlying promise handling for you. What is the syntax for declaring enums in TypeScript? To declare an enum in TypeScript, use the enum keyword followed by the name of the enum and its values. For example, enum colors are red, green, blue would declare an enum called colors with the values red, green, and blue. How does TypeScript handle type checking during compile time? TypeScript performs static type checking during compile time to catch errors before the code is executed. It checks that variables have the correct types, function parameters and return values are correctly typed, and that objects and arrays are correctly constructed. What are some common design patterns used in TypeScript? Some common design patterns used in TypeScript include the singleton pattern, the factory pattern, the observer pattern, and the strategy pattern. These patterns can help organize and simplify complex code. How do you use TypeScript with React? To use TypeScript with React, you need to install the TypeScript and React packages and configure your project to use TypeScript. Then you can write React components using TypeScript, including typing props and state, and TypeScript will perform type checking and error catching during compile time. What is the difference between TypeScript and Flow? TypeScript and Flow are both static type checkers for JavaScript, but TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript with additional features and syntax, while Flow is a separate language that must be compiled to JavaScript. TypeScript is also backed by Microsoft, while Flow is an open source project. What are some best practices for developing and deploying TypeScript applications? Some best practices for developing and deploying TypeScript applications include using a consistent coding style, enforcing type checking with strict mode, using interfaces and types for clear and readable code, and writing unit tests for robust and maintainable code. How does TypeScript handle scalability and performance? TypeScript is designed for scalability and performance, with features like static type checking and tree shaking that optimize the code during compile time. TypeScript can also be compiled to multiple versions of JavaScript, including the latest ES6 standard, for optimal browser compatibility and performance.